Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and it's time for another shave video. An Italian shave this time. Not entirely Italian, but uh, yeah, very close, 98%. And uh, the products I'm gonna be using, uh, the classic denim, uh, made in Italy, uh, I think originated in 1976. And I've used the denim musk before, two years ago. But this is the original. And I want to thank my friend Marcus for sending these to me. Marcus lives in the Netherlands, and he was going to come out here to the United States to uh, Michigan on a vacation this summer. And uh, he was going to ship them to me from Michigan. But, of course, COVID-19 popped up. So he's not going to come to uh, Michigan this year. He says he doesn't want to come there in the winter. I don't blame you. So he actually shipped it from the Netherlands, and it arrived today. So, or yesterday. So I want to thank him for giving me the opportunity to try this. Uh, there's a classic commercial associated with denim. If you want to see it, you have to uh, maybe go back to my other video from two years ago. I don't want to include it with this. It's too much filler. Uh, so I'm going to be using the denim aftershave and the denim shave cream today, both made in Italy. The brush I've got soaking in the crystal skull right now is the Omega Bore also made in Italy. And what's not, oh, the Fatip Close Comb Piccolo. Really like that one. I will be using an American blade. Someone asked me, would I mind trying the Persona Blue again? And this is made in the USA, so they claim. So I'll be using the Persona Blue. And I'm gonna use a shave bowl from Van Ule. Uh, Monica Gillum makes these, and I know she's in, I think, North Carolina. I believe these are made in the United States, too. So uh, not from Italy, not from Italy, but uh, the rest of the products are. So let's get this shave started. All right, I'm going to load the Persona Blade into the Fatih. Let's see how that goes. Hopefully this video isn't as controversial in the comment section as my last one. Uh, I don't blame you guys, really don't blame you for being upset about Gillette products not being made in the USA. I agree wholeheartedly. And I'm just excited though that Gillette was coming out with another uh, razor, DE razor. Maybe they can uh, start being more like uh, the Fatip company and Rockwell and all of the other ones and make them in the USA. Here's a trivia, One, what? not a car company, but what company is still made, that was founded in the USA in Pennsylvania, and they started making products in the 1930s, and they're still making the same products in the factories today. They may have expanded, but they're still made in the United States. Can you guess? Zippo, 1967, still works great, made in the USA. Zippo, 2014. Still made in the USA. So there are still products that uh, are made in the USA. Maybe one day Gillette will open up their tooling again. I don't know. But this is an Italian shave, so we won't get into that one. All right. Let me wet my face a little. How's confinement going? They're opening up throughout the U.S. Some of the, I see baseball starting again, but I don't think they're having any uh, games that you can actually go to see. But... Uh, they're opening up a few places, so we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna use the Van Ule bowl. It's a great travel bowl. And I'm gonna put the denim into it. Sure hope I can lather this thing and it's not one of those creams that won't, you can't use a brush on. But I've looked stupid before, I'll look stupid again. All right, let's get that out of there. Wow. I guess you can use a bowl. Right? What does this say? Uh, I've got a delivery coming. Uh, pharmacy delivery. Hopefully that doorbell doesn't ring or somebody else in the house answers it. It's lunchtime right now. So I'm doing my shave during lunch. Wow. I, I remember the original denim. The musk didn't 
smell like the original denim, but this aftershave smells like if you were around in the 70s and you remember it. It's got a really, I'm gonna call it a vintage scent. The soap's very slick. Very slick. I know those people are going to knock on my door, and my wife's not going to open that door to sign that stuff. So when I hear the dog going nuts, I might have to pause this. Nice. Very nice. Very nice razors. They remind me of the Gillette Tex. Someone asked me if I can do a side-by-side -side with the Gillette Tech made in England versus the Gillette Tech made in the United States. And uh, I probably can do that. I like them both, but the made in England Tech has an aluminum handle. And the one in the U.S. has a, a metal, probably brass coated uh, or something coating in the brass. All right. You guys going crazy being confined in the house? It's happening here at my house. Littlest thing sets my wife off. I'm in trouble. You're around people 24 seven for weeks and weeks and weeks and it'll be a problem. But I'm catching up on a lot of the Marvel movies. Nighttime's like movie time. All right. Very good. All right. Look at that. There's a guy at my work's probably not gonna like this video because it's Italian products. And that guy went to Italy. Just when he was told not to go to Italy on a vacation he had planned a couple of weeks ago, about six, seven weeks ago, just before they locked down Europe. And of course his vacation was ruined, but shouldn't have gone. But he might be pissed off that I'm using Italian products in here. <laughs> my Hawaii trip's ruined. I was going to Hawaii in a month for my in-laws 50th, 50th wedding anniversary. We're going to renew the vows on the beach. Good luck. Maybe next year. Would like to get to Lake Tahoe again this year, but I don't know what's happening out here. And no, I'm not protesting at the beaches in Huntington Beach like you see on TV. It's crazy, guys. I can understand her point, but Man, don't spread this thing. Too many good people have been affected by it, one way or another. My deepest condolences to uh, SoCal Shave and Manny. He had lost his father to this. Uh, my condolences, my friend. We need a cure, and we need to get back on track. Bring the world back to normal, right? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I ordered electric clippers. Wall. W-A-H-L. 
I thought they were made in Germany. I don't know where they're made. They seem to be the most popular. I got the one with the colored uh, heads that you can tell what size they are. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to give it a go on the side of my head. We'll see what happens. I don't think I'm going to put that on video because I'm probably going to come out looking like an idiot. But right denim. Yeah, that that is definitely the smell that I remember back in the 70s. I'll put a link in this video to my previous video if, in case you want to see the original commercial. I don't think it would fly today with the Me Too movement, but that was the 70s, right? Oh, and a good burn again. A really nice scent. I'll put the history of uh, denim in the description of this video. Hey, thanks for uh, sticking with me. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, I do look forward to doing another video soon. I got my uh, new Oakley Eye Jackets made in the USA uh, the other day. Uh, they're pretty damn awesome. Here, I'll show you. I got these to uh, replace the previous ones. These are blue. We call it Planet X. And uh, there. I used the uh, other eye jackets in my blindfolded shave video. Inspired me to go try these out. Everything's on sale right now at Oakley. Hey, you guys buy what you want. I don't care. I'm just saying I like them. I like this denim. I never encourage you to go buy stuff. I just try it out to see how it works for me. Very happy with these products today. You don't have to be. I understand that. All right, everybody. Till next time. It's Ken Sears. Hey, have a great night.